Hey the ho peeps, my name is Pablo Picanto and welcome back to Fallout 4. So in this episode you, me and Basie are gonna find... Nick, Nick Valentine. Valentine. Hopefully. And... Uh, to do that, we must investigate the place where he went to. Which is somewhere here. Right near the combat zone. Okay. Oh, wait. Hardware town. What? There was something too, right? There was... A painting. That was it, right? Okay, let's, let's just run there real quick and then we'll get to Nick Valentine. What? 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 What's the problem? Okay. 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 Okay, your problem is not a problem, I tell you. I'm here and I'm gonna fix it. Basie is gonna fix it. Oh. He's right back here. Hurry. Come in. Is that a trap? Somehow I don't trust this. Let's quick save. Hey! I told you to bring him in for the basement. Shut up! They're headed this way now. Be okay. ready. Okay, okay, I got this. I got this covered. Well then, let's see who what is taking so long. Needs our know. help. Maybe you should go check it out. You don't think I will? I'm tired of sitting on my ass anyway. What's the point of hiding back here? Why the hell don't we just shoot them in the head the second they step through the door? Yeah, why? Think about it. That would actually work a little better. Mark's really strong. Damn it. Who's it? Far. <laughs> oh, ha. Someone there? That is quite some stuff. So, little huh? bitch, trying Here to Nothing. fool me, huh? Sure what the? I do not like being fooled, damn it. God, he's tough, and now he's dead. Oh, I know that one. That was in Sean's closet. Ah, so many memories. Whoa. Say goodbye to your head. Oh shit, I'm out of ammo. Um, 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 this one. Don't you fucking shoot my dog. God! No one, no one fucks with me and Dr. Woofington. Right, Doctor? Okay. Oh, the paint. Yes. Hell yeah. Right. Oh. 
Mix a batch of green paint. What? Okay. Paint mixer. Make green paint. And yellow paint. Okay. okay let's give me... Yellow paint, then. Yeah! Okay! So, we could have given him uh, blue paint. But it's the green diamond. And... Doing him a favor here. Which is so kind and so thoughtful. Grenades? I fucking hate grenades. Everyone using grenades. Hell, everyone talking about grenades deserves to get this in his stupid face. Damn it. Down you go. No more grenades in your life, man. No more life in your life, actually. You're welcome. Back to Diamond real quick. Let's give him his... Ooh -ha. His paint. Okay, buddy. Got something for you. Find that paint. Of course. Wasn't easy, but I found some. Yeah. Now that's damn fine news. Why don't you go ahead and paint the first stroke? Let's see how the shade matches up. Alright then. Paint. Use screen paint. Looks awesome, right? Working hard. Mm, that's a good shade of green. The wall sure seems happy with it. Happy to help. It's been an honor. It's nice to work with someone who knows how to show respect. There's your payment, and a little bonus for getting the right shade of green. Don't do anything with it I wouldn't do. All right. Oh, that's cool. All the guys running the shops? In daylight come here to eat in the evening that's cool what a nice place yeah, talk to me please okay. a minor lurk. come on it's like two out of ten points of danger tops. You want to talk something really bad? Hmm. I forgot you were there yet. Mm. What is it? You know what? Never mind. I'll handle it myself. You got any problems? <coughs> What's your story? Mercenary, caravan guard. Whatever you want. You first. What's your name? Hawthorne. And you are definitely from out of town. I know every settlement from both sides of the Charles River, and I've never seen you. Anyway, I'm just kicking back and sharing stories while I'm between things. I've been all over. Seen vaults, pre-war ruins, and plenty of monsters. You've been to a vault? Yeah. Ever heard of Vault 81? They're standoffish, but every once in a while, they'll let new people in. Okay, thanks. Let's hear your best monster story. I'm from Diamond City. You want to talk something really scary? It's the Institute and their sense. Don't go to University Point. Trust me. You don't want to know what they're capable of. University Point. Mark. So you explore old ruins? Last place I was going to check out was Salem. Real old town far to the north. Never made it, though. Got a bad feeling about that area. See you around. All right. Point. Yeah. Take it easy. Thanks. He's as well, dude. Diamond City security being unhealthy. <coughs> God. God. I killed a man for it. <laughs> no, no. I kid. I kid. 
<laughs> he is dead, though. <laughs> now, let me know when you're ready to order. Yes, please. So, this your bar? Damn straight it is. My brother Yefim and I make the best moonshine in the entire Oh, it's moment. your brother. We call it Bobrov's Best. Had to start renting out rooms just so customers uh, had a place to safely pass out after drinking. <laughs> I've got a few minutes to browse. That's what I like to hear. Nuka Cherry. That shit costs 122, really? Ooh, I've got a thousand. Hmm. Uh, but yeah, no. I'm so thirsty for a cherry coke right now. Holy shit. Ah, uh, yeah, but no. Oh, the paper. The paper is out. You read the paper? Damn sense. Hiding among us. So my interview, interview, right? I wanna read that. Well, basically, I know what I said. But you never know. How the press is gonna present it. Uh, okay, here we are. And there is the sh sh uh, newspaper. So. Most folks are just looking for a hand. All we gotta do is offer. Hey, Piper. Heading my way? Uh. Oh, I can take her as companion. Uh, not Let's yet. This is what I got. think. Press cap. Well, no, you know, thanks. Hey. You know, I'm not gonna fall for that. You know what? Let's just gonna wait a day, some hours. Can I sit somewhere, please? Here. There it is. Uh, nani munai. Arigato. I can't wait here? Oh god. I just wanna wait. Can I wait over here? I think those Bobra brothers are looking for you. Noodles! We all eat them, we all love them, and Diamond City's Power Noodles has supplied this sustenance for the past 15 years. From the silt. The, from the stilted mechanical. From the stilted mechanical. Cad, from the stilted mechanical cadence of Takahashi's program Japanese to the fragrant steam that wafts from each bowl to the scalding tang of each delicious mouthful. The ordering and eating of noodles is but one of many shared human experience. experiences. Or is it? Oh my god, that's a lot of pages. I'm not going to read this. I guess the message was uh, noodles are cool. And uh, I have no reason to not believe that. Today's Halloween, but do we get treats? No, it's all tricks all day. Today's Halloween, really? You're kidding Officer, me, right? Word is something bad. You like to bad kid people. The Museum of Witchcraft up near Salem. Okay, yeah, yeah, keep it to yourself. You can't stop the press. Nah. That interview you did with Piper is really selling. Here's your free copy. Thanks. View from the Vault, Part 1, by Piper Wright. Whenever I take a walk through Diamond City, there are so many things people tell me to be grateful for. Purified water, working lights, electricity, security. True, what we have would have been unthinkable even a few decades ago. But it's easy to forget that, even after all the progress we have made. 
We are still living in the shadow of the world that was. A world before the threat of radiation. Before the super mutant and the feral ghoul and the synth. So as fortune often has it, I cross paths with Pablo. As fortune often has it. Vault dweller. A person who is experiencing the Commonwealth for the first time. What was he... What would his fresh set of eyes say about how far we've come? Is Diamond City the great green jewel we have always claimed it to be? Before we begin to answer that question, we have to know who Pablo is, where he comes from. To my surprise, he did not have much to say about his life in the vault at all, because he spent all that time staring at a piece of frozen glass every day for over two centuries. That's right. Pablo isn't just a vault dweller. He's an original vault dweller. He spent his entire time on the inside, cryogenically suspended. Continue in part two. Part two. So what does Pablo have to say about seeing Diamond City for the first time? You're all living in rusty shacks, killing each other, and my god, the smell. Painful words. So much of civilization was lost when the bombs fell, and we have rebuilt it. We have rebuilt without the comfort and security of the old vaults. However arrogant and privileged Pablo's statement seems, we have to remember where he came from and what we must look and what we must look like to him. Perhaps all this anger is really just to cover up what he's lost. You see, Pablo has a son, Sean, and even though they were in the relative safety of a vault, someone broke in and took Sean from his parent, and that parent is now risking everything, wandering through this strange and unfriendly world of ours, in order to save Sean from his kidnappers. We all know the rumors and whispers that surround every missing person in Diamond City, The guilty looks we pass to mourning family members as we thank the wall that this time it wasn't us. You can end up dead in the Commonwealth for a million reasons. Why spend your time worrying about kidnapping? Why indeed? Continued in part 3. Part 3. It's easy for us to be cynical about the missing. We have spent so long knowing the Institute is out there but knowing so little about them. They are not the only ones responsible for kidnapping, but the fact that they sometimes are, and the fact that we have been so powerless to stop them when they do, causes us to treat all victims of kidnapping as if they are lost cause. But the people left behind, those loved ones, friends and neighbors, who may never see the faces of those taken from them again. They do not have the luxury of being able to just look away. They have to carry that last with them, even if everyone else tells them to move on and forget. I asked Pablo to make a statement to Diamond City to give us an outsider's perspective on what it means to lose a loved one and how he feels. Maybe in some way... It's how we all should feel. Maybe we've forgotten what the right human response to these tragedies are. No matter how much you want to give up, don't, he said. You have to have hope that you'll see them again, or at least that you'll know the truth. End. <laughs> That's touching. Good article. Great article. <laughs> so am I famous now? I better am. Didn't even get paid. Okay, now for the, our friend friend over here. Uh, Valentine. Nick Valentine. Yes, of course. So we'll have to walk all the way over there. Okay. Let's go.
Ooh. That weapon is cool. Holy sh shit. Fucking sniper revolver. Who else wants him? Sorry, kind of. Damn, wrecking these bitches up. I love that weapon. Holy shit. Always. That is me. Poke you till you're dead. Mass Pike Tunnel East, okay. <sighs> Looks so awesome. All these. Oh my god. Oh, so huge. Okay, he's not aiming at me. And I'm not gonna bother. If you say so. Oh, shit. Oh, damn it. In, in. A second. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Quick saves all the time because you die fucking fast when you don't even when you don't even think about it. Yeah, cool, great times. At least I have full ammo again on this. Take your head off. You wanna fucking die. Yeah, right. Tell me about it. Oh shit, you are there. You're dead. Get out of my house, bitch. Oh my 
god, how many? Why do we reload all the time? Don't even need to. Shut up, just please. Holy f fucking. Um. Damn it. There you are. Come on, headshot. Go for it. Ah. <sighs> oh, oh no. M M M M M Doggy, Doctor Wolfington, take this. Oh, can you fucking stop, dude? Now, now. That is enough, buddy. Who fucking else? Come on! Man! They are fucking annoying. Okay, can I maybe, just maybe, make my way at least to the place where well, Valentine is supposed to be? Without getting killed or without getting something else to do. That would be fucking great. Fucker. Nice roll, bro. Aim properly and shoot his ass. And shoot him. Ugh. Yeah, why not? This place. This place. Really awful. Wouldn't recommend. Quick save. So what's this now? Another raider place? No thanks. Those oh, super mutants. Great. Awesome place. Dr. Wolfington, you might want to come and not fight. This is gonna be fun. Damn it. Fucking stamina, really? Ow. Okay, you want it this way? Get it this way. If I hit. Come on. And. Die to your face. God! There's. There's definitely too much of you. Quick save. Okay, where do I have to go? There? Is that... What did I just... Oh my god. You 
You really? Okay, just calm down a little. I just wanna go there. Over there. Thank you. No, I'm out. Nope. 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 Boston Common. Come on, almost there. What are you doing here? Welcome, Patriot, to Boston Common. The start of the Freedom Trail. Feast your ears and learn more about the historic Freedom Trail. And learn the history of Boston Common. You're a tour guide? Error. Response not <coughs> recognized. Great. Welcome, Patriot, to Boston oh. Common. They yeah. start up. Thanks. The Freedom Trail. Uh, should I take the Freedom Trail? <coughs> Tell me about the Freedom Trail. Starting here at Boston Common. Follow the red path as it winds its way through our great city's streets. Markers on the trail are placed at many famous historic sites. See Paul Revere's house, the old North Church, the old State House, Bunker Hill, and many more. Okay, yeah, you know, you want to take the tour, doggy? Yeah, we might as well. But, yeah, not today. I'm sorry. There is the place. There we go. In. And there we're going to save Nick Valentine. Finally. But not in this episode, I fear. We're gonna take this place down. I'm telling you, joining Skinny Malone's crew was the best decision we've ever made. Look at this In the place. next episode, we'll get Nick Valentine out of here. Trigger man. Oh, he's a friendly one. Yeah, we're gonna talk to him in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, if you liked it, then please subscribe and stick around for more. And I'll be happy to see you in the next video. Peace out. Duh, that makes me shiver every time I hear God. What? Ah, oh, bro. Oh, please not. Please don't. Okay, okay, so.